Hey guys, Repairman here to repair those builds. Alright, so I've got a new one here for you today. No, it's been a while, but uh, yeah, well, let's get into it. So, alright, so we got Oberon Prime. You're thinking, what the fuck are we gonna do with Oberon Prime? Well, today we're gonna have a massively killer support frame. I'm gonna pop out tons of armor and tons of healing and because of Phoenix Renewal, you'll have an instant revive. And I'm not talking like the Vazarin lens. I'm talking Wukong. Boom, back from the dead. Instantaneously, no allies required. Just boom, you're back to life. Of course, you get that 90 second timer, so watch out for that. And all your allies. Now, because this thing has narrow minded, no range whatsoever, you have to have everyone huddle up just for the initial cast of Renewal. They all bunch just to throw a waypoint down, so everyone get come over here for buffs. They all huddle in, you cast it, boom, everyone's buffed. And then it doesn't matter um, for energy conversion and growling power if you use your um, your second ability, the hollowed ground, if you have those two procced. Because just it being cast and touching an ally makes it give it the full buff. Now with this build you're gonna get a hunt once it's fully at its peak power you're gonna get a hundred and fifty HP per second regen. Without the our energy conversion and growling power you're only getting like a hundred and twenty as you can see here. Um, getting a little under 400 for the instant heal so pretty serious heal on that initial heal still but an armor buff is just a little shy of 600 once you get those buffs it gets up to 750 h uh, armor buff that's more than arcane grace of course for this very specialized build you absolutely have to have energizer it does not function without Energizer. It's just too energy hungry. Because you grab an orb, it'll fill up a substantial amount. Basically, one orb can do up to 200 energy. Now, I mean, you could, if you're in an energy sparse area, you could throw on two Energizers, and that would make it work even greater. And keep the energy up. But if you're not having problems, like I generally don't, then you can use Arcane Guardian to give you even more armor. So you're going to be crazy tanky. Not to mention the 750 you're getting from the frame itself, making you crazy invincible almost. Not Wukong levels, but maybe more like old classic Chroma levels maybe. No, maybe not that far, but somewhere in between the old Chroma and the new Chroma. <laughs> Now, okay, so you're telling me, hey, yo, repairman, I'm not a rich man. I don't have Energizer. I don't have all the time to go and hunt for the Energizer. That build's just not going to work for me. No problem. I got you covered. We got the Wukong support build without Energizer. Now, if you throw away, if you have RK and throw them in, if you don't have Energizer, you have Guardian, that's probably the next best thing to throw into both slots. That's going to give you... 600 armor per individual one just for you of course actually not for the team so that's another 1200 armor for you and then you're gonna get a um, hundred just a little shy of hundred it's 80 or uh, 98 hp per second regen with this build um you know, I spent a little while since I run this one for the armor, but I think you get like 600 armor with this one for the team. But that uh, has hunter adrenaline to keep your energy up, so you're running low on energy, just run out, get hit, brings it right back up. It's a good idea, though, to have your renewal going before that uh, gets too low. Alright, so now for the actual test to show it in action. Now one little 
quick place I like to go and test this one out is uh, a CAD, eh, quick little bit of credits, small map, and infested drop and energy orbs like crazy all over the place. Unfortunately, that comes with the downside. After you get in there for a while, they have a lot of leechers pull that energy down pretty quick. And now you can do basically this exact same thing with the regular Oberon. So, you know, if you don't have them or don't care to get the Prime version or too resource intensive, I can't remember, recall what it takes to build it, you're still fine. You can do the same thing. Especially if you got uh, a secondary account. <laughs> it's max strength 5 where you want to go and. Uh, show uh, some show up some people that are high rank think that only high master ranks can do stuff think that master rank is everything all right so let's get an orb yeah. Come on. boom there we go all right renewal 150 HP per second regen. I uh, probably should throw a waypoint down. Ah, and as you see, my other teammate, he's got it, and he's just robot, generating like a madman over there. Now, I can pretty much just sit here and do practically nothing, and they are not going to be able to touch me. Of course, my energy's low, so I'm going to stand over here so they purposely... Uh, Oh yeah, that's right, I'm not using my, uh... My other build, this is the Energizer build. Been running on PC with that a, a good bit. The last time I was running it, and I don't have Energizer on PC, so... Just struggling along with no Arcanes on there. Man, you, you don't miss your Arcanes any more than when you don't have them. It's like, ah, oh, gotta get those back. <laughs> and now you're, you don't have a lot of range, but you can still do some crazy damage. If they, you get a crowd that's really up close to you, go to the, right to the center of it, cast your ultimate, you're gonna do some crazy killer damage. As you see here, Reckoning does 4,600, over 4,600 damage in one cast, plus another 2,300. So, some substantial damage, and just totally strips the fuck out any bit of armor they have. So, not very little survives that unless you're really high up in the levels. Of course, the, you have no range whatsoever, so you got to really be up close to them. As you see, even though my efficiency is super low, I'm still able to maintain it. As soon as I get orbs, you know, sometimes I'll pick up one orb and I'll get 50, sometimes I'll get 125, or sometimes I'll get the full max amount that it, one Energize gives you, which is 200. Of course, if you see over 200, it's probably because it picked up more than one orb, but yeah. And you know, just as you see, uh, Mud over here does not have the armor boost. I can just cast it under him, and bam, he's got the boost now. So he showed up a little late, but some, surprisingly still got the uh, regen bonus. And now for those people that have Zenistar, but they just don't have all that range. I got all kinds of stuff to give this thing range. <laughs> you see, there's his, and his ends like here-ish, and then here's the Zenistar with some serious range all the way over here. Yeah, 
just no competition. Spring loaded blade is what gives it an extra 30% range, and I have uh, a ribbon that gives it like 40. I mean, it's not a phenomenal ribbon, but hey, range every bit counts. Alright, guys, it's Repairman. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, keep them foremost cooking.